In the game of life, some mistakes are more severe than others. And in that cruise life, there's some mistakes that could end your cruise. In today's episode of the Lolita Loca Cruise Show, we talk about 10 mistakes that could end your cruise. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Lolita Loca Cruise Show. I'm your host, Tony B. I'm your guide into that cruise life. If you enjoy cruising content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of our episodes. Let's start with the mistakes that could end your cruise before it even begins. Number one, not paying your cruise off on time. Yes, cruises have a due date. There is a final payment date for every cruise that you book. One of the great benefits of cruising is that you can put a deposit down, you can pay over time, you can usually pay as little or as much as you want, but there does come a time where it is all due, and if you do not pay your cruise off by the final payment date, they will cancel your cruise and your cruise will be gone. Now look, I advocate waiting until the last minute to pay your cruise off to take advantage of any price reductions or any specials, but it's a risky proposition. Make sure you know when your cruise payoff date is and make sure you pay off your cruise or you'll be so sad. Another mistake that could end your cruise before it even begins is incomplete or expired travel documentation. Now, if you are in the United States and you cruise primarily to the Caribbean, the only travel documentation you really need is a state issued ID and your birth certificate. But again, you've got to make sure that both of those things are valid. You want to have a valid copy of your birth certificate Uh, preferably with a raised seal from the state that you were born in or a photocopy will work for some cruise lines but you got to check that out in advance and you need to have your state issue id a photo id and you want to make sure that that is not expired now the best form of travel documentation is the passport but those things have expiration dates also now they're good for 10 years and you want to make sure that you have at least six months of leeway on the end of your trip you want to make sure that your passport's not expiring for at least six months uh, on the return of your trip is kind of the best rule of thumb. You can cut it close, but you wanna check the countries that you're going to and understand what their requirements are for your passport if you're using that. And uh, yeah, when you get to be about a year out on your passport, like as you enter into year nine of your passport, you need to go ahead and start thinking about getting your passport renewed. And another way that you can have your trip in before it even begins, you can make it all the way to the cruise port, but if you put your travel documentation into your checked luggage and you hand it off to somebody to put that luggage on the cruise ship, the odds are very poor that they can find that luggage once you get to the counter and realize that you do not have your travel documentation. Uh, the, the, The moral of that story is always have your travel documentation with you on your person. Don't pack it away in a suitcase either getting on the ship or getting off the ship, it's going to make it more difficult and may even end your cruise if you pack your documentation and your checked luggage. So let's transition to when you get onto the cruise ship. One of the very first things that you have to do on embarkation day is you have to go to the safety drill. And if you attempt to blow that off, it could end your cruise. Now, the way that it works, there's a main muster drill, a main safety briefing. Everybody is required to go to that. They shut down all the food venues, they shut down all of the bars, they shut down everything on the cruise ship and they get everyone to go to the muster drill. If somehow you escape that net of people trying to pull you to that muster drill and you hide out somewhere, there's possibly a secondary shame on you muster drill where they corral you into a theater for a longer muster drill. And if you somehow skip that, they might just put you off the cruise ship. There is some documented cases of people who have been able to blow off the muster drill and then they eventually get put off the cruise ship. So uh, that would be a mistake that will end your cruise skipping the muster drill. I wanted to get to this one early in the list, threatening, abusing, or demeaning the staff. Let's, Let's say it right off the top here. The management, the crew, the officers, the captain of the cruise ship is the law of the land when it comes to cruising. They have the sole discretion as to what to do. They're in charge of the vessel and they're in charge of the people that are on the vessel. And if they feel like your abusive language, uh, your abusive attitude toward the staff, your rudeness toward the staff is disruptive, 
they can put you off the cruise ship. Obviously, if you get physical with a staff member in any way, you will get put off the cruise ship. The cruise staff, they work hard. We say it a lot and they deserve to be treated with respect. You got to use your adult words. You got to use your calm demeanor when you're trying to get problems resolved because you can push that line too far and get put off the cruise ship for abusing or demeaning or being rude to the cruise staff. Another mistake that you can make to end your cruise is throwing stuff off the side of the ship. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be anything substantial, but recognize that there are cameras all along the side of the cruise ship and there are people monitoring to watch for things going overboard. I did a story last year about a man who got thrown off a cruise ship for accidentally flicking a cigarette butt off the side. Now, I know that's more than just debris, there's fire and all those kind of things, but something as small as a cigarette butt going over the side of the cruise ship, being picked up by security, and that person being disembarked from the cruise ship. If you put anything over the side of the cruise ship, there's a good chance that you will be disembarked at your next port of call. Another mistake that you can make is getting into a fight on a cruise ship, and now I'm talking both physical and verbal altercations. There was a story of a couple that got into a verbal fight and they became so disruptive that the cruise staff disembarked them from the cruise ship. And again, it goes without saying that if you perpetuate any form of physical violence on the cruise ship against a passenger, against the cruise staff, against anyone, they will put you off the ship. There is no tolerance for physical violence and uh, there's not a lot of leeway for verbal arguments either. So... Be careful the way that you act on the cruise ship. Be careful how outrageous you get with your vocal disagreements because uh, there's a good chance that if you end up on somebody's radar, uh, the cruise captain, the officers, they're going to be looking at you asking the question, are they, are they threatening the public safety with their outrageous behavior? If so, maybe we should put them off the cruise ship. So uh, that's a mistake that you can make that will end your cruise. Uh, keep it chill when it comes to arguing and never any physical violence. There are a few offenses that can possibly get you arrested, and the next one certainly is. Just like on land, if you get alcohol, if you buy alcohol, if you uh, give alcohol, if you serve alcohol to a minor on a cruise ship, uh, you are in the hurt locker. Of course, you can get arrested on land, and you could be held over and given to the authorities on sea, but one of the quickest ways to get put off the cruise ship is to give alcohol to a minor. The drinking age on most cruise ships is 21 years old, and even if it's your kids, I would be super careful about giving alcohol to a minor. If the cruise staff gets alerted to this, uh, you could be in a lot of trouble, and your cruise vacation could be coming to an end. This next one is kind of in left field. I'd never thought about this, but you could get put off the cruise ship for breaking quarantine. Now, quarantine is a situation that can happen in a couple ways. There's medical quarantine and there's security quarantine. Medical quarantine is when you are sick. When the cruise staff finds you to be sick, they may quarantine you to your room and they may say that you are the only one to be in that room, no one else in or out. And so if you leave that room after you've been placed in medical quarantine, putting others at medical risk on the cruise ship, they may disembark you at the next port. And if you are somebody who goes and breaks quarantine the other way, if you're somebody that's not in quarantine and you try to get into the quarantine area, that is another offense that you could be removed from the cruise ship for. And then also security quarantine. There's instances where security will say, look, you have to stay in your room for the rest of the day, either to calm down, maybe you had too much to drink. They will quarantine you to your room and tell you not to leave, and uh, you're definitely running the risk of being disembarked from the cruise if you do not follow those instructions. So breaking quarantine is another mistake that you could make that will end your cruise. Let's talk about theft. Of course you're gonna get put off the cruise ship for stealing. Do not steal from the cruise line. Do not steal from other passengers. Anyone caught thieving is going to be put off of the cruise ship. Theft is one of those mistakes that you just shouldn't make anyways in life or on a cruise ship. And uh, that's a great way to end your vacation is pilfering, stealing. Don't do it. Those are 10 mistakes that you can make to end your cruise. 
I did make a video specifically about why not to pay your crews off early. I'm gonna leave that video linked there and I did make videos about many of the components of this so I'll leave some of those videos linked in the description. Thanks for stopping by. This is Tony B with the Lively the Local Cruise Show. Hey, hit that like button if you found the information helpful and watch another video. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.